Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have life experience, a significant event here with Ace of Fire. So I see there's uh, insight or enlightenment that has happened here, uh, and it's caused inspiration for someone uh, to finally look at the reality of the situation. Uh, hope, I haven't given up on us yet, and third party. we There were other things that got in the way of bringing us together, so uh, definitely other circumstances that have been a wedge in the situation. But someone's uh, finally fighting back here. Overall energy, King of Swords. This is about uh, thinking things through, being very logical here. Also, being very honest Okay, seeing things in a realistic sense. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have Five of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. So uh, coming up for you, just be aware that there might be things uh, coming towards you or struggles here, things that have stressed you out uh, and that are continuing to just kind of snowball. But please be aware of this, that uh, you overcome this challenge with grace and dignity, even though others are coming at you or they might uh, not have your good favor at heart. Just Keep in mind, uh, be positive here, and if you do things the way that you're set out to do them, uh, it will be their downfall, okay? So I do see success here in the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you are very hard workers, very passionate as well about uh, getting things done, and uh, the hustle is what I see here. And for that, you are being blessed as well, so no matter who's uh, trying to go against you or whatever conflicts coming your way. Just keep in mind that uh, you will overcome it because you have everything that it takes and the universe is definitely watching uh, to succeed, okay? And everything that happens to you, just keep in mind, karma is always at play. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and the Moon card for their energy. So, yeah, some things really hit them. They feel like uh, they're seeing things for the first time uh, in a realistic sense. Uh, they're seeing as well that they need to work on something here, come up with a plan, something that they've procrastinated on or actually pushed back against doing because they've been overly frustrated with the reality of the situation. Uh, so I see that they kind of hid from, you know, everything that they needed to do and really lived in a fantasy world here. Tell the moon card. Queen of Wands. This person's constantly in their emotions over you and thinking about you as well, temperance. Uh, just the very thought of you soothes their mind and their stress. Uh, you do not know this in the moon card. They conceal this here. But I do see that, you know, they, how they treated you, they realize, especially with the five of swords kind of coming up here, that they treated you unfairly and uh, they need to make something right here. Tell me about the eight of pentacles. Five of Wands, yes. They feel like they've caused a lot of conflict, uh, taken a lot of things out on you as well, uh, without ever, you know, apologizing or, you know, being re acting responsibly uh, with your feelings. I see things are just left unsaid, and it's something that they know they need to deal with. Empress, yeah. They, in a sense, feel like you can always handle everything and you definitely take care of everything in your life. And it's something that they were envious of as well. And you were unaware of this, okay? It's something that they kept deep down and uh, they projected it to you. So let's see what's happened in the past here. We have Strength, Six of Swords, I'm sorry, Six of Pentacles. And the hair font. So I see both of you felt like from the very beginning, you had to be disciplined here, uh, in patience, in strength to hold back, uh, to have to give into other things here, such as a third party. Uh, but it doesn't have to be an actual person can be a job location, whatever it is, that is the barrier here. Uh, it was definitely so big that it felt like both of you were being pulled away from each other and you felt like you both had to do your due diligence. What I see is as time went on, 
they kind of left the situation. They didn't really do what was expected of them and you were still doing everything that you possibly could to connect with them, to be honest with them, to still keep this connection strong. But I see that they retreated here, right? They got really cold and they started to get in their head and they started to spiral. All of a sudden they started to get stressed out and they weren't speaking to you about this. You thought this was very strange. Uh, why they were taming themselves back? Why all of a sudden they're pushing off on this uh, connection and you felt like all of a sudden are they becoming disinterested? Do they not care anymore? Maybe this is something that they don't want anymore. And you had no answers uh, to these questions. But I do see in the Six of Pentacles the fact that they were giving into something else, something that made them miserable. They felt as if all hope was lost and they started to get really down on themselves in the situation because they weren't making things happen. And uh, it looks like that they, when they spiraled here, they kind of just gave up all hope. And I see that uh, they started to really detach. Okay, so if you felt like that they were leaving you alone more periods of time or they weren't communicating with you or they just seemed very cold, uh, it's because they started to get really upset with the situation, how everything was. Yeah, double two of swords, knowing that they need to take charge. They need to uh, do what they can uh, possible to be together with you, but just feeling defeated uh, as if it's going to take a lot to overcome uh, the circumstances here. All right, so let's see in the challenge, let's get some more details interesting so we have the queen of swords in the challenge here but we have the king of swords as the overall this is really hitting me hard because it's showing me that what needed to happen here was honest communication uh really both of you coming together and coming up with the plan and it looks like the plan fell apart even though it might have been addressed in the beginning or you both felt like okay this is a connection that's very strong very deep and it feels like i'm on cloud nine but it really fell apart because they started to detach more. So I see with the Queen of Swords, you really started to put up a wall, right? Protect your heart. Uh, not really let this person pull the wool over your eyes. You didn't want to trust them after a certain point because you felt like they weren't trustworthy. They weren't really being the same. They weren't giving you the same information. They were, or the same energy. I see a lack of emotions being expressed and them really not uh, trying to let you in. And you felt like, you know, everything was kind of falling apart here. With Page of Wands, King of Cups, they were one foot in and one foot out, deeply desiring you at all times, but feeling like they can't uh, do anything about it. Feeling so trapped and it started to really get to them nine of wands and so how they treated you especially with the page of wands here we have queen of pentacles knight of wands knowing that you are loyal to them they knew you would always still be there so they took you for granted in a sense because they started to treat you as if you weren't really that important to them they may have in the beginning right i do see everything was kind of set in place uh there was no fear of things not moving forward uh, but I see that they really detached and it started to feel like they absolutely uh, were changing their mind. So you saw the red flags and you knew that, you know, the only possible outcome here is that they're not being honest. And so they're doing something against uh, me in this situation or not uh, being completely loyal or faithful. Okay, so what they're about to do, we have Ace of Cups. Nine of Pentacles and the Justice card. Like I said, karma comes back in play. Uh, so everything that you've been through in the situation is about to come back to you. This is a new phase of love beginning like never before. So you will feel as if you are desired in every way. So if this reading's resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys dearly, and I will see you next time.